Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Rider. We're in my house at Spawn, as you recognize if you watch my live streams. We are kind of heading out. We got to keep an eye on Spawn is not safe. Anyway, I uh, thought I would today do a little tiny build. Well, not so tiny. This is Main Street here. Okay, I live on Main Street. It's awesome. But I've decided I would. Last time I was here in Spawn with some people, we realized that we need. It'd be nice if there were beds, so if people wanted to, uh, people, oh, somebody took my, uh, street sign down right here. Oh, well, there's no one up here. It, people, uh, man, I'm distracted. People had noted that, yeah, Main Street and High Street, that the, um, there was no place if somebody wanted to sleep log, they could easily find a bed. So I decided, or I thought I should build an inn. We're going to mainly make it out of wood. We're going to borrow some wood here from uh, Scotty Garbitas' log factory. And then later on I will go back and chop down a bunch of the trees that he's got over here and leave a bunch more wood behind. So I'm going to gather some wood and then we will... I think, I think that's just for show. Ooh, some lag. All right, so be right back. Okay, here's the spot. As you can see, it's a good-sized little... It's a good sized area, but right over here we've got Optimus 1971's house. I don't want it to go way over here. I want it to stay kind of on this corner. I want it to front Main Street and then be kind of just off of this street. I think that puts it out of the zone of um, actually being like in any place important. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to start it right here. Let's see. We want to be 13 by 13. Um, you guys have had a pretty good look at this area. Let me, I could put it up here, but it won't fit. Anyway, let me get the foundation laid down, and then I'll be right back, all right? We've got our foundation laid down. I had to do a bit of terraforming in order to kind of make it fit. And I will probably have to do a little bit more. I might actually bring this hill out just a little bit more so we can have some kind of a, so we'll have, um, what do you call them, so we can put bushes or something around it. Maybe, we shall see. But that's it so far. I'm going to rip out everything that's here that's in the way right now, which is all these trees. And then we will start laying, found, uh, laying down the floor. And next, oh, it's only two trees. Okay, nice. Are they connected to anything? No. This tree is probably too close. So it's going to have to go as well. Dog on it. All right, get a few more saplings so I can replant. Let me, I'm probably going to build something else over here too, but for now, these guys go down. Let me get the floor down, I'll be right back. All right, there's that. God, I hope I have enough dark wood. Ouch. We're going to make the main supports out of it, which means it's going to go fast. And we might, ow, ow, ow. We might use it later on for some, uh, possibly for, for looks and that kind of thing. Now I'm trying to figure out how high. I think that will be, that right there will be. The thing on the front there, the ones are here. I think I want to go one higher than that with this, this main room. I'm not used to building big guys, so that's why this might be a little bit clumsy at the start. And I was thinking about doing cross braces with dark wood, dark oak, like complete pieces too, but that's going to be a bit much. And I am it with limited supply of certain materials. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're getting our windows and such prepped here. It looks like it's going to be dark before I can get the bottom floor finished, though. And darkness means death at spawn. Because spawn ain't safe! Yeah, have I said that before? <laughs> I'm sure I'll say it again. Now, there's nothing at the back, and so I'm either going to put a giant, some kind of a fireplace here, or something. I'm not sure what yet. I'll probably end up using furnaces as the body of the fireplace, because... Since this place is so much wood, um, 
An actual fire would probably be a bad idea. For now, let's go ahead and put a bed down. And we'll temporarily sleep here. Oh, um, I wanted to let you guys to let y'all know something too. Um, Caitlin has gotten enough money for her cat, so hooray! Put this guy in the corner for now. So that's so. Uh, if anybody actually did donate, I don't think anybody did that I know. But uh, you never know. Somebody might have. I'm not sure. If anybody did, thanks a lot. Uh, if you didn't, you know, whatever. Uh, appreciate you at least listening in. But she's got the money for her cat. I don't know if she's taking any more money. You can always check it out if you want. I'm not going to put the link in the description below anymore, so you'll have to find it elsewhere. And let's see. What else are we going to do? Let's, let's go ahead and build one chest for inside. For now. Uh, I'm going to be making... Oh, I should have used something else for this. Let me drop off some stiff, and we'll get to that chest that's out there by the street. Alrighty. Interior's pretty much done on the ground floor, but there's going to be a lot more to this in than just this. And now i got to, um, you know, we'll just fake it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for steps yet. But this is what I'm going to do for now. And actually, we're going to need one more level of spruce for the next magical step. I hope it'll be magical. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, I'd like to make a quick disclaimer. I'm really bad at building really big buildings. I'm more used to little tiny petite cute buildings. So we're going to just do this for now. If this ends up looking terrible, that's my disclaimer. Now you'll be able to see a method to my madness. Is it mad? Is it is it really mad? I'm gonna be mad if they do that a lot. Oh, on. It's gotta go like this. Gosh. I probably should have built this in creative first. To make sure it didn't look awful or just that it's not too huge. But I didn't think thirteen by thirteen didn't strike me as being too large. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm mistaken. What else been going on? Um, I did a second Skype game with um, dang it. Optimus, Sayulili, Viri, and Puka, and it went very well. That would be last week by the time this guy goes up. Uh, I thought it went really well. Had a lot of fun. People stayed on task. Uh, some of my games have been kind of off task a lot. Some of my players. That makes me sad. It is what it is. Oh, fudge. Okay, let's finish this. I hope this is going to look nice. The roof will also be made of this stuff. I'm thinking about trying to do dormers, but as usual, whenever I do dormers, they turn out looking terrifying. So, that's kind of a um, big maybe. Hmm, that's interesting. That's not too bad, and it's on the back where it won't show up as much. I cannot afford to waste any dark oak. I went over and got quite a bit from the, um, the wood area to find that there are no... There's none over there, as far as, like, they're not growing anymore, which is weird. I say they, but I mean Scotty. Okay, floor. I'm gonna need more half slabs. We're gonna get working. I'm gonna get working. I'm gonna get the second floor floor in, and put up the structural supports for the second floor, and then I'll be back. Our floor is in. This will be interesting, and we still have quite a bit of the dark oak. Thank goodness. Uh. Hmm. I've got to figure out how high to make this. Uh, to be quite honest, since it's going to have a, it's going it, to, it, mm, the roof line is going to come in at all sides, pretty much. So this doesn't necessarily have to be that tall. The second, the second ones. Um, shoot, I don't know. Let me try to figure a little bit more of this out. I'll be right back, guys. Uh.
Nice view of spawn, though. Yuri's area looks a little derpy, but otherwise, pretty nice.